Hi guys, this is Johnny Hunkins, and today we're at the Miller Electric Distribution Center in Rancho Cucamonga. Now they send all their welders out from here, but they've also got a very, very special thing inside that I want you to see. They've got a product training center here, and rumor has it that they're going to start allowing potential customers, some of you readers, to come in and use this place in order to try out some Miller products. Hi Johnny, welcome to Miller. Oh, thank you for having me, Erica. Let's go inside and take a look at the training center. I think you'll be very, very excited to see this. They've pretty much got one of every Miller product here in their training facility. And uh, today we're going to try out a couple of their products, look at some new stuff here. It's just amazing. Of particular interest is their brand new Multimatic 200 and the Millermatic 211, which we're going to talk about. The Multimatic 200 is very cool because it does combine the MIG, the TIG, and the stick welding in one unit. But let me show you the really cool reason why you need to get the Multimatic 200. One hand, I'm just going to lift it up like that. It is very lightweight. I want to say, just without checking any product literature, that thing's probably about 20, 25 pounds. It is a lightweight, but it packs a punch. It operates both off of your standard household 110 current and also 230. So it's robust. It'll weld some thick stuff. Um, I believe it'll weld all the way up to uh, three-eighths of an inch. Now the biggest thing about the Multimatic 200 is that it's not one welder, but three. Of course it has the MIG capability, but it also has TIG capability and stick welding capability as well. So when you buy a Multimatic 200, you're getting three welders in one. Now, you can buy the welder by itself, which comes with the MIG attachment, or you can spend $400 more and get the TIG attachment. And it just goes right in here, plugs right in here. You have to swap them out, and, uh, and you're good to go for MIG and stick welding. Now, uh, what's very cool about this is right on the handle, you've got your adjustment for your amperage. So even though you can use the foot pedal, you don't have to. All you do is uh, adjust this while you're welding. Now, if you want to get the entire TIG kit, you can get the uh, box down here, which contains the TIG attachment, the foot pedal, the regulator, the hose, and a starter kit. You get everything that you need. That adds about $400 to the cost of the Multimatic 200. So that brings your price up to about 2400 fully equipped to do the TIG and the MIG welding part in addition to the stick welding. Now of course the Millermatic 211 is one of our favorite welders and it's a little less expensive than the Multimatic 200. Uh, you can get into this welder for about $1100 and it has all the cool features you'd expect like dual voltage sensing technology. You can run it in household current or you can run it on 220. But it also has the auto set. Again, all you have to do is give it the wire thickness and material thickness and it'll actually set the power setting for your, uh, for your welding. Also, will give you automatically uh, the proper wire feed speed. And, uh, you know, it's portable, not as portable as 200, it does have a transformer type technology. Now, on the transformer side, it does allow you to weld slightly thicker, more robust material than the 200, but, um, you know, considerably less expensive, and it is MIG only. You do not get the stick welding, and you do not get the TIG welding. One of the really cool things that you can do with the Millermatic 211 is you can do aluminum welding if you get the Spoolmate 100. Now it's loaded with a small spool of aluminum wire there and it's got a trigger on it and basically you set it just like you would set a welder. There's a small chart on the inside here that shows you how you're supposed to set the aluminum and 
We have Shannon Aaron Moore here, who works at the training center. He's, she's going to show us how it works on this piece of aluminum here. Wow, that's cool. And Schoolmate 100 only costs about $200, and you can make really cool aluminum welds like that. Thanks, Shannon. Now, here's another really cool thing that Miller makes. It's called the Arc Station. Now, you can get the Arc Station in a multitude of configurations. This is perhaps the most elaborate version where you have basically two units and it's on wheels and you have the screen around it but you can get the single arc station or the one with the drawers you can put them together uh, you can add this uh, screen around it and it's actually designed for the DIY guy or the shop so you know they come modular you, you assemble them they even have one that, that's folding it has sort of an X type bracing on the bottom that allows you to fold it up and store it when you're not using it so you have the rest of the room in your garage so that's something you definitely want to check out on the Miller Electric website. Well, Miller's been around for a long time. Look at this really old welder. They have been going back a long time. Check that out. That is a classic. Hey, remember when we showed you that Millermatic 211 and that Multimatic 200? Let me show you something here. This is a standard transformer. That sucker is huge and it's heavy. And basically, by changing the uh, output of the transformer, this uh, shunt is inserted into the transformer and pulled out. And that actually changes the output of the transformer. Now that's big and bulky. It's very robust, but when you can change it over to an inverter like this, this power inverter does the same thing. And by using that, you can shave a whole lot of weight out of a welder. Now, the Multimatic 200 has the inverter instead of the transformer. And in doing that, that machine is made considerably lighter. So if uh, you need to move your machine around the shop or take it in the back of a truck or trailer or something, having the Multimatic 200 with its lightweight power inverter will definitely make a difference. Ooh, serious TIG welding going on. <laughs> Jeff Smith of CarCraft Magazine, everybody. The constant TIG weld. Yes, sir. And doing a damn fine job, yeah. I might add. <laughs> So that's the Miller Electric Training Facility. Um, we hope that soon that Miller will be able to let you guys come in here and try stuff out. Just keep an eye out on a popular hot riding website and we'll update you if they have training classes available for you guys.